Yes, Lord, we thank you. And we bless you because you are worthy. We give you glory, you are mighty. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, mighty man of war, lion of Judah, we bow down and worship you. Yahweh, Yahweh, come and do what only you can do. Mighty man of war, lion of Judah. the name of Jesus do we pray and do we believe amen let's celebrate the Lord father we thank you we bless you mighty one of war mighty man of war as we welcome you to take over amen we may have our seats in the presence of God the Lord bless you amen and this morning as we get into the word of the Lord I want to share on what can you see. Amen. Remember, we are talking about extending our boundaries. And uh, the session this morning 
or in this session this morning, I want to talk about what can you see? Because when we talk about our boundaries, both the physical and spiritual, it is what you can see that you can occupy. It is the land you can see that you can occupy. Na ni vizuri ujifudishe, kuna mambo mungu ameyaweka ya kiwa siri, mafumbo, ambao waliyaweka, kanena, kayapanga, ili mutu waangaliae, aone ni wapi anaweza simama ni kitu gani anaweza fanya bwana tukuzwe so ebu twende katika kitabu cha jeremiah in chapter number 1 and from verse number 11 you remember the call of jeremiah from the verse 1 all the way to verse 10 about what god instructed him concerning the call and what he was supposed to do and eventually the bible says uh, The, Lord, the message from the Lord came to me asking, what do you see? Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah I replied, I see an almond branch. The Lord told me, you have observed well because I am watching over my message to make it sure it comes about. Buwana abariki maneno haya. So you, you, you look at the message and the Bible says, The Lord came to Jeremiah. The message of the Lord came. And he said, or he asked Jeremiah, Jeremiah, what do you see? Praise the name of the Lord. Jeremiah, what can you see? And he said, I see an almond branch. Praise the name of the Lord. And verse number 12 of the Bible says, The Lord told me, you have observed well. You have seen correctly. For I pursue my word to perform it. I want you to, to note something uh, in the message ambao Mungu anampea. Kitu cha kwanza alimuuliza unaona nini? Aliposema kile unaona, God observed and God commented on the same. Praise the name of the Lord. Mungu alinena kitu kuhusu mambo yale ambao Jeremiah nimekuuliza unaona nini? Amesema kile anaona and God commented. And that is the same case even today. Mungu wakati hata anakuambia vile utafanya akupe neno akwambie God still waits for your ability to see to manifest Praise the name of the Lord Na ninataka kusema mambo mawili kuna kuona mara mbili There are two kinds of sight in this world Number one, there is uh, let me mention three for the sake of time Uh, but also for the sake of better understanding number one, there is what we call the natural sight kuona kawaida bwana asifiwe sana kuona kawaida praise the name of the lord mambo yale unaona ni ile watu tu wanaona kila kitu unaona hata mtu mwingine akiitwa ataona hivyo tu umeona na hata ona tofauti bwana asifiwe sana and I, i want to say this to you there are times in life you need that natural sight to be perfect natural sight kuona tu kwa kawaida and, and i'm not just talking about eyesight i'm not just talking about kuona hiki kiti ni cha rangi fulani na hiki ni cha rangi fulani maua haya ni ya kala fulani ah uh -uh. that is not the kind of talking i'm talking about but i'm saying seeing things and particularly you know hizi vitu hata uone ukose kuona vina remain hivyo viko but kuna vitu unastahili uone and the sight that i'm talking about is the sight of uh, perception the sight of perception naturally being able to perceive in the natural unaelewa katika kawaida bwana yesu atukuzwe and you, do you know why we have a lot of problems in life because sometimes we are not able to see things the way we are supposed to see them our perception is inverted is corrupted and i wish i'm talking to somebody who can understand kuona kwetu kumeadhiriwa Vyenye unaona mambo vyenye unasikia si vile unastahili kuona ama kusikia. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Ukienda mahali pana watu wanafanya mambo, ni vizuri ujifundishe kutoona tu na macho, uone na akili. Uone na nini? Na akili. Kwa sababu kama akili yako haioni, hauwezi fikia yale unastahili kuyafikia. Hauwezi kuchukulia mambo jinsi unastahili kuyachukulia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Even in times like we are having now, it is in the season of the, uh, we, we have a pandemic. 
But if you are not able to see things the way you are supposed to see them, this thing will destroy you. But if your eyes can see the way you are supposed to see, you perceive. You have a perception. Wherever ya kwamba, kwa nini hii kitu imekuja? Kwa nini inafanya kazi hivi? Mbona inaoperate hivi? Bwana asifiwe. Unajua kuna siku zilizokuwa zinatangulia watu walikuwa wanasema ni, ni matajiri wanashikwa na ugonjwa. Ikafukuja mpaka ikafika kwa masikini because of lack of perception. Hawaerebi? Amen. Wengine siku zile za kwanza wakasema ni kama homa tu tutapona. Lakini in the process Kenya tumefikisha watu karibu 1400 wametuacha tu hao ni wale recorded wale ambao wamekufa na hawakuadikwa hatujui ni wangapi praise the name of the lord bwana asifiwe perception because the way you perceive even in the natural setup ya mambo uende katika biashara can your eyes see perceive the way a business should be run praise god because if you you don't have that understanding and, and that perception is what i would call in another word the inner understanding you have the view from the inside not from the outside praise the name of the lord bwana tukuzwe ukifika katika hatari unaona nini kuona kwako ndio kunategemeza vile utahando mambo so i am talking about first the natural sight uweza wa kuona katika kawaida na nimeita hiyo perception praise the name of the lord number 2 There is a sight that I call the sight of a dreamer. Kuona kama mwenye maono, mwenye ndoto katika life. And all these sights are important for you. The natural sight has its place. There is the sight of a dreamer. Kuona mambo kama muotaji. When you look at things you don't just look at them at face value. You don't also just see what everybody can see. You can see what other people cannot see for you have a dream in your spirit. Bwana asifiwe sana. The sight of a dreamer. Na hii rafu nitawaambia kuna watu hawajui ku cultivate the culture of a dreamer. They just know how to live in the natural. They look at things in the natural. And a majority of us we have a distorted view. Bwana asifiwe sana. Eh, ushajaribu kupika ka selfie na kamera kumbe kuna mahali ilimwagikiwa na kauji. Unajiona umetokea na, na mavitu. Hauna paka unafanya hivi uone kama kweli uko na kitu. Hauna kitu uji iko kwa kamera. The distortion is coming from the view finder. I want to say this. The same can happen in life. You have something that is distorting your ability to see. And in life I want to say this, you will encounter things which alter or affect your vision. Do not deceive yourself. Life will have situations that will try to alter or affect your vision. So it is good in life for you to seek to know, do I have a vision? Do I have a dream? so that i can also look at things from the level or the perspective of a dreamer bonus <sighs> fever and i hope you understand what i'm talking about a dream i'm not talking about a natural dream ulirara ukaota ukiwa tajiri hapana naongea habari ya living as a dreamer looking at things like a dreamer a dreamer is somebody who looks beyond you know dreams don't happen and that is why i believe that was the reason why they took the word dream as a word that is very encouraging you know dreams don't happen in the natural ushawaiota ndoto unakibiria juu unapitia kwa hewa ushawaiota ndoto ya kwamba eh ati una unauawa na ukufi umepigwa risasi na hujakufa ndoto ni za ajabu yani ndoto they don't live in the natural in the natural ukipigwa risasi my friend you are dead Or you are injured. Lakini katika doto unapigwa risasi na huoni damu ikimwagika hata unaamka unaenda ukiwa umepigwa risasi kwa doto. Living like a dreamer is living a similar life in the natural. Even though there are people who are fighting me, I live like a dreamer. I don't have to concentrate on who is fighting me. Hey, praise the name of the Lord. Live like a dreamer. See like a dreamer whereby though I am being tested Though I am being offended though there are issues in my life but I have a dream and for the sake of the dream I can forego whatever is happening here 
living like a dreamer. Seeing like a dreamer. The vision, the sight of a dreamer is different. Wakati watu wanaangalia mambo. Na ninasema hivi. Mpendwa kama hatutafika katika kile kiwango. Jambo lile litakuwa ni kwamba. You live your life under the influence of whatever is going on. Every Tom, Dick and Harry. Every Jane and Janice ambao watakuja katika life yako. Vile watakuambia. Kile watafanya. Kita influence maisha yako. Wana suwe sana. Usha kudua ya kwamba. Kuna mtu wata ukimpereka umuonyeshe hii diojia. Bado watapotea. Unampereka mpaka unamuambia. Sasa sinimekuleta hapa. Sasa uende hivi. Usha herezea mtu. Jia una ukamuambia vizuri na ukamuchorea kwa kamap. Ukamuchorea na ukamutumia kwa hot up. Mahali ya fike a turn left. By the end of the day, an a turn right. Na anaenda. Anakuambia sasa. Niko hapa kwa kamuto ulisema kwenu ni wapi. Unamuuliza mtu. Mto U, Anakuambia si dio Shuri sema tuigie pade hiyo Sasa dio tumeigia Unamuambia aa Mto Mpaka unamuambia Ebu kata simu kwanza ni ulizia vizuri Unaulizia ni haya karo oe Ni wapi kuna kamuto Unabua sasa hapo hako Hapo ni kwa jakufu Ile mto ni kwa jakufu Unampigia unamuambia tafadhali Rudi nyuma mpaka mahali ulipigia kona Pade igia pade hiyo igine Yani unakuta mtu Hata umweleze na mnagani Hata potea Distortion katika kuona Wana suwe sana Can you lift up your hand and say I declare I will not be confused Concerning my sight In Jesus name May confusion leave your mind May confusion Remain away from your life so that you remain a person who can see what you are supposed to see. Not necessarily what is nearer. Wana yesu wa sifiwe. Na wapendwa kwa saa mimi huerezea jia. Mimi yata napenda mtu kuuliza mtu jia vizuri ni herezea. Na wakati mungine kwa saa kulikuja Google Maps. Nimekua ni kiambia watu just tell me a radmark. Niambia kitu hile iko karibu. Iyo diyo nitakuja nae. Mana watu wegini ya kikuerezea jia. Utapoterea tu hata kabra hujaenda bali. Utapotea. Anakuabia unaona, utaenda hivi. Alafu, kuna mahali kuna kona unaingia hivi. Ile anaita kona, ni barabara tu imebed. Kidogo tu alikuabia, lakini kuna nini? Sasa, ukifika uone, hauoni kona unashidua. Kwani nimepotea? Unapika zimu unasema, woi, minaona kama nimepotea. Anakulita ni nini? Hapo uko, ebuli siya mtu kwa mama, kwa mama joni ni wapi. Ukiuliza unagua diyo hapa. Yani usha afika, lakini alikuabia kuna nini? Na kafanya hivi mpaka ukaona Iyo kona ni kubwa Vye nye amefanya mkono hivi Iyo kona utaenda Ni 90 degrees Kube ya kuna kona Ni macho yake inaona nini? Makona Ni urizie jirani What do you see? Eh? What do you see? Because what you see May influence the outcome of your life What you see May influence your relationship with other people what you see may be determine whether you will come to the place ambao mungu walikuwekea. What you see. Praise the name of the Lord. Tumetembea na watu wakati mungine tukiomba. Na nimeambia watu vitu ambazo. Hawa kubiona wao. Hawa kuwa na shuguli nazo. Tumeenda tukafika mahali. Kama wakati moja tukua tunaomba eneo flani. Tukaenda. Na tumesafiri kilomita katha. Tulipo simama hivi kusimama tu hivi. Eh, mahali tulisimama nikamwambia simameni hapo hapo ndipo tunapaswa kuombea palikuwa na kajunction nikamwambia simameni hapo kwanza tulipo simama eh, eh, tukienda hatukusimama lakini niambia tunarudi tukaenda tulipoenda tukafika kufika tu mahali tulifika hivi from nowhere watu wanakuja umeenda kuomba kwa sababu nchi iko na hatari lakini wale ambao ni walinzi wanatokea sasa mpaka wananiuliza ha watu wanajuaje ya kwamba tutakuwa hapa Mambia ni njini ya muoni In the spiritual Kuna vitu ambazo Usipo ziona Hauta weza kufika mahali unakwenda Haya tulipo rudi tukasimama mahali Kusimama tu hivi Kusimama hivi na kushuka Kwa gali Hata hakuna kitu tumefanya Mutu wanatokea Mumekuja Sasa mpaka unashindwa Tumekuja wapi Nilipo angalia diyo nikaona ishara za Ishara furani ambazo wanaweka Na ambazo zina meaning kubwa sana then kuna 
e, vitu fulani wacha nisitaje mambo mengi lakini tukimaliza dakika moja gari limekuja limesimama next nao wameanza kazi zao sijui ni nini wanafanya w- wanakaa you know unaangalia hivi mpaka unashidwa how did this person even know i am here because sometimes we are so focused on the natural you cannot see what other people cannot see unaona tu kile watu wanaona bwana asifiwe e, na mahali pale palirudi kuleta shida baadaye kwa sababu hatukuweza kukamilisha vizuri yale ambayo tulikuwa tunapaswa kufanya because sasa tulizungukwa na watu tunataka kuomba tunataka kumwaga mafuta ni nchi hatari sio ile unatokanga tu hivi unamwaga mafuta utamwaga utakufa so unajaribu kuficha unajaribu kufanya mambo unajaribu kufanya maombi naye unaomba mwenye umekuta pale anakupea mastori anakufuata e, sasa hapa anakupea mastori kwa sababu hataki hicho unafanya anakuona lakini wewe haumuoni bwana asifiwe nilienda mahali pamoja kufika tu hivi mtu akaniambia pasta habari si kuwa nimevaa kama hivi nimevaa tu t-shirt lakini ameniita pasta Ajai niona wacha siku hizi za mitandao tunahubiri kwa mitandao unaweza sema aliniona kwa mtandao hakuna kitu kama hiyo kilikuwa Huyu mtu ni mahali pageni lakini ameniita pasta nikamwambia mbona unaniita pasta Ah kaniambia uwezi jificha tunawajuanga Niambie huyo mtu anakuambia nini Haangali in the natural anaangalia na mambo kadhaa Praise the name of the Lord So I have said there are sites tatu ambazo nataka kuongea Number one, nimesema habari ya natural sight na nimeita perception ufahamu si kuona tu a ni kupassive praise the name of the lord ushaongea na mtoto unamwambia hii ni kara ushaona hii watoto wa, wameenda baby class hii ni kara anakwambia yero ni white unamwambia sio yero sio white ni yero anasema yero unamuuliza na hii anakwambia ni black sasa hiyo ni green unaenda anataja anaona kuona anaona perception haiko unanielewa so kuona kwa kwanza unakostahili kujenga ni kuona by perception being able to see in the natural but you also perceive unaona mambo kawaida na unayafahamu unaelewa unakutana na mtu na unamuelewa huyu ni nani nimekutana naye ni jeuri ni mtu mzuri ni mtu kichwa ngumu atanisumbua ama hatanisumbua you have that perception number two, nimesema it is the sight of a dreamer seeing things like a dreamer and i want to say for for sure and you have to put this in your mind if you cannot bring yourself to the place of a dreamer looking at things from the viewpoint of a dreamer kuna mambo mengi yatakupita katika hii life bwana asifiwe sana you will be offended by things which you should not have offended you because you are not a dreamer eh na patiki wale wale ambao mnatamani ku achieve mambo katika maisha you must live like a dreamer a dreamer is able to see beyond the current situation beyond the natural uh, things that are happening galika imekuja inaua lakini a dreamer ana, ana, anajua ya kwamba wacha ni bebe unajua kama ile ya, ya nuhu wacha ni bebe begu pamoja nami nitarudi dunia kupanda bwana asifiwe sana wacha ni bebe ngombe nitarudi kukamua maziwa baadaye living like a dreamer and eventually i want to say this the third sight which is very important also for us is the sight hmm? what i would call the spiritual sight the ability to see in the spirit the rim of the spirit and i want to say this when i talk about the 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 spiritual sight this is the ability what i would call the ability to discern the following the ability to discern the following number one, the ability to define or to discern the atmosphere eh anga ina nini anga ina nini imeja nini eh the ability to discern what is in a particular location mahali fulani ni nini kiko that ability is important kwa sababu life utaend, utapitia katika maeneo ambayo ni tofauti utapita katika mambo tofauti utapita katika situation tofauti praise the name of the lord discerning the, the, the places eh? Eh? situations ambazo ziko it is important for you to discern them spiritually and then number another thing that i would like you to understand it is to discern spirits roho 
ni maroho gani ama ni roho yupi afanyaye kazi mahali hapa iwe ni kwa kanisa iwe ni katika mtu bwana asifiwe sana ushawahi kutana na mtu ambaye hataki kukuona lakini kesho yake anakuita mpaka anakusalimia na anakununulia chai na hata ha apologize ni kama hiyo ya jana haikuwa ni kama hakuna kitu kilifanyika wewe hauelewi ya kwamba hii sasa sio physical hii ni spiritual if you cannot discern the spirit utakuwa mtu tofauti bwana yesu asifiwe mfalme yule ambaye alikuwa anaitwa nebukadneza sidi alisema shadrach meshach na abednego watupwe katika moto eh? akawatupa kwenye moto lakini sidi mfalme tu alisema wainuliwe auoni hii kitu ina, ina utata the same scripture the same chapter amesema tupeni katika moto ndiye amesema watoeni kujeni shadrach meshach na abednego kujeni na akasema wainuliwe na wale wataongea kinyume na wao wauawe sasa unaelewa ya kwamba huyu mtu katika maeneo yale mawili ni watu wawili there is a spiritual factor katika huyu mtu kile anafanya bwana asifiwe the first factor imempeleka katika jia ambao ako na miungu anataka iabudiwe na mambo kama yale on the other side baada tu ya roho mwingine ku, roho yule kuondoka ameogea amesema watu hawa waheshimiwe wapewe viti wakalie ni watawara mfalme aliyesema danieli atupwe katika tudu la siba ndiye mfalme bado alimuita atafsiri ni nini hiki kimeandikwa yule yule tu Na, nataka uelewe ya kwamba si kwa kupenda ni roho ile ambayo inafanya kazi praise the name of the lord And that is now by the way I want you to learn from the book of Daniel. You teach yourself. Unaweza ajiliwa na muhidi na ngombe zake lakini wewe si ngombe na wewe si mwabudu ngombe. Ufanye kazi pale. Na akikwambia panguza ngombe wewe ipanguze wachana naye. Ni ya nini inakuuliza nini? Live like Daniel. You live kule kuna ngombe zinaabudiwa but you are not a worshiper of the cows. Ukiajiriwa na devil worshiper shida iko pande gani kwani anakusanya pesa apeleke wapi biguni biblia imeandika watakusanya kwa ajili ya wenye haki enda uajiriwe na ulipwe vizuri na huyo He. shida ni kukosa discernment you don't understand yeye dia anafanya hiyo anafanya mimi siko hapo praise the name of the lord Watu wengine hapo wangekuwa ni Danieli. Woo oh, 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 mfalme ageona shida. Nikumwambia mfalme, wacha nikwambie. Me I don't confuse myself. I know my God. Mimi sichanganyikiwi. Lakini mtu aitwaye Danieli anafanya kazi. Anamwambia mfalme, kitu ile tu sitaki ni chakula. Hii mambo mengine tutafanya. Nipe boga na hakusema nimelima boga. Alisema tupewe nini? boga na maviyakura vya kawaida nyama hatukuli maana tunajua nyama umepeleka pale kwa madhabahu kwanza kabla hujaleta kwa hivyo hiyo sikuli ehe <laughs> vitu vingine ni divei divei yenu mmeifanyia ibada hiyo si takunywa sisi tutakunywa tu maji na kama kuna chai tutakunywa by the way uwezi sema hakukuwa chai hapo walikuwa ni karibu na idia si bali sana na majani chai ilianzia na huko idia so most likely walikuwa wanakunywa nini chai bwana asifiwe e, na ukisoma katika historia ya wa china historia ya, ya the east utaona tu chai ilikuweko kwa hivyo kuna like rehud daniel alisema mimi nitakunywa nini chai sitakunywa hizo vitu zingine zinalewesha muna vile mmezifanyia lakini alifanya kazi kwa nyumba ya mfalme with the discernment i can discern what is going on i discern the spiritual things praise the name of the lord so brethren wakati Mungu anauliza Jeremiah what do you see let me go back to the first sight nimesema the sight of discernment uweza uh, the, the sight of what the natural sight the ability to do what to perceive the sight of perception akili yako inashika mambo hali iko hivi mambo yanakwenda hivi lakini mimi nitafanya hivi mimi sitakwenda hii jia sitayafanya mambo hivyo nitayafanya namna hivi perception akili imeshika sitaongeresha huyu mtu hivi anataka kuongea sitamuuliza maswali hivi anataka kuulizwa nitafanya jambo tofauti i can perceive I, i i have understanding praise the name of the lord 
wapendwa na Mungu awasaidie kuna mtu mnaongea na yeye na ako na stress zake kwa hivyo atakumwagia ukicheza atakumwagia zote ni wewe utaenda hasara kwa hivyo kuna mtu ambaye unasikiza vile anaogea ukipassive roho yake iko na shida unawachana na yeye unakosa kumuongeresha zaidi unakosa kumwambia hicho ulikuwa unataka kufanya nini kumwambia atakumwagia takataka atakuvunja moyo praise the name of the lord nimewaambia kuna watu hata ukimpeleka because hawezi ona yeye yeah, haoni wewe unayeona ndiyo utamsaidia the bible says the blind cannot be the leader of the blind at least kuna itajika mtu mmoja aonae amuongoze asiyeona bwana yesu atukuzwe so kama hauoni wampeleka wapi yule ambaye ni kipofu pia so in life we need somebody who is not blind somebody who can see in the natural do you perceive bwana yesu asifiwe and i want to say this there are people who are not troubled by devils they are troubled by natural things vitu vya kawaida vya wasubua unajua kuna mtu kukosa pesa peke yake anaweza kuwa inamsubua kiasi kwamba hata ukisema kwa ibada tuombe hawezi oba ataomba wacha nikuse ataomba akili yake iko jioni tutakula nini perception hiyo ni muhimu kuelewa na itakusaidia hata wakati kwa mfano wale ambao tunafanya kazi katika madhabahu kutokuwa judgmental mtu fulani hajasimama niliposema tuombe haombi sio unakemea unasema watu wengine eh unafikiria Mungu atakufanyia kitu na ufugui mdomo We waachana na watu wewe hujasoma Biblia uone hana amefika kwa madhabahu ameanza maombi na maombi yake hasemi ha, ha, kitu sauti haitoki lakini <laughs> ni ni mdomo tu anaona eli akamwambia mama mambo ya ulevi usikuje hapa mulevi asubuhi mapema hivi tika kunywa tena nyuaga waine <laughs> bwana asifiwe kunywa jioni hufana kunywa mapema unalewa mapema lakini ilikuwa ukweli hana alikuwa mulevi anasema mtumishi wa bwana mimi sijalewa kitu ile iko ni masumbuko yaliyo katika moyo if you cannot discern in the natural we did not come from the same house we did not go through the same situations we are not passing through the same conditions i tell you the truth utakuwa judgmental kwa watu kwa vitu ambazo mungu hawahukumu bwana yesu asifiwe you understand what i'm talking about you need sight in the natural a perceiving mind akili ambao inaelewa mambo amen akili ambao inajua huyu mtu anaweza kuwa amekaa mahali pabaya anaweza kuwa na kitu kinamsubua akili ambayo inajua ya kwamba mambo haya yake ambao hayafanikiwi hayaendi vizuri si lazima iwe huyu mtu wako na pepo inawezekana tu ni tatizo ndogo ambalo wako nalo tujaribu kumsaidia tuone vile atasonga bwana yesu atukuzwe so wacha nipite pale so the other thing ambao nimezungumza habari yake ni kitu ambao nimeita nini the sight of a dreamer uone kama mtu aotaye bwana atukuzwe uone kama mtu aotaye be a dreamer don't just look at things ambazo zinaonekana mpaka ambao umewekewa siwezi fanya hiki sina uwezo sina pesa sina nguvu hivyo unaona ni vizuri kuona hayo mambo na kuelewa lakini can you live like a dreamer can you see something that is better that is greater than what you can see Can you live like a dreamer somebody who knows my tomorrow will be better than my today I don't deny that today I am in such and such a situation I am in such and such a mess but I know who I am I know who I believe I know that things will change living like a dreamer praise the name of the lord and I want to say this dreamers can survive any situation because they don't live on today Dreamers can survive situations because they don't live on today. A dreamer can overcome circumstances because he is not living conditioned by the circumstances. May God help you to understand what I'm saying. A dreamer does not allow himself to be contained by the conditions, the current conditions. Any situation, yes, situations are there. That I am poor right now. I don't have anything right now. Oh, I'm not uh, I'm not in a position to do ABCD. But the dreamer does not allow 
that contention even dio inamumiliki maisha yake yako hapo tu a a anaangalia beyond leo beyond hiki ambacho kinaonekana the sight of a dreamer is important remember we are talking about what can you see what can i see because what you can see you can occupy and what you cannot see you cannot occupy what do you see unaona nini kuna watu ambao macho yao yamefungwa hawawezi kuyaona mambo ambao wamepewa wanastahili wayafahamu bwana tukuzwe so what do you see as a dreamer uh, do you have a dream do you look at things from the perspective not only of the physical ati mambo imeenda hivi hiki kimefanyika don't condition yourself under that can you look beyond the today beyond the current conditions beyond the circumstances by being a dreamer the sight of a dreamer and number three, i've said the sight the spiritual sight he ndio paulo alikuwa anaombea wa wa wa, wa efeso akawaambia that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened by god that you may see what is kept in store for you mambo yale ambayo mmewekewa Ephesians 1 verse 18 mambo yale ambayo Mungu amewawekea muweze kuyaona that you are not just visualizing what other people are seeing praise the name of the lord in the book of Romans 8 kuna mahali Paulo anasema hivi mateso ya sasa hayawezi linganishwa na utukufu unaokuja Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hayawezi kulinganishwa na utukufu unaokuja. Praise the name of the Lord. So, kuna utukufu lakini hauko hapa tumesimama. There is a glory that I have not come to, but it exists in the spiritual. It is there ahead of me. That is why I'm saying this all these sights are important. You need to walk in the combined sight. There are times you just need to be perceptive of the situations. Uwelewe mambo. Uwelewe hali ya kawaida. Uone watu katika hali zao. Uwelewe zaidi. Usiangalie tu katika hiyo wanaangalia. Uangalie mbele zaidi. Uyaone mambo ambao hawajayaona. Uyasikie mambo ambao hawajayasikia. Jina na Bwana libarikiwe. Hallelujah. Hmm? Anasema mateso ya sasa hayawezi linganishwa na utukufu ujao. Praise the name of the Lord. Hayawezi it cannot be compared to the glory to come. Hallelujah. So, ni vizuri ujue ya kwamba ikiwa kuna maisha yako na huko bere, utukufu ambao hawezi linganishwa na mambo haya. And you can also check for example the book of Hebrews chapter number number 12. Praise the name of the Lord. Bibile nasema ya kwamba, in verse number 2, 3 there, inasema ya kwamba, Yesu alie uangalia utukufu ujao, heshima ile igekua mbere, nae, hakuweza hange kata roho, kwa sababu ya furaha alio iangalia. The joy that he was looking forward to. Praise the name of the Lord. Hasemi ya kwamba musaraba ulikuwa mzuri, lakini ili ya weze kushinda musaraba, kuna kitu waliona mbere ya musaraba. Zaidi ya musaraba. Amen. Romans 8, 18. That is the verse that I was talking about. For I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed to us. Kuna utukufu utafunuliwa. Hauja funuliwa bado, lakini utafunuliwa siku moja. For that reason, I am not just conscious of my suffering. I am also conscious of the glory that is coming. I can see beyond the natural perception. Bwana sifu sana. Biashara unaweza ibeba wakati ni ndogo. Ni wewe unaipepetea. Ni wewe unaipea kaguvu ya kuendelea. Lakini with the time, the same business unafanya ikiwa dogo, inaweza kuja kukupea maisha. Hallelujah. Watoto wengine ambao unalipia fees na machungu, unalipa na machozi. Wengine unalea wakikuumiza mioyo. Wengine wanafanya vitu. Have a vision. Be a dreamer in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Because the same kids wanaweza siku moja mtu akaenda hivyo akabadilika akawa ndiye atakaye kuinua akutoe mahali umeishi kusimama upewe heshima siku moja. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Eh, mambo haya ni mazito lakini sight kuona kuweza kuona uone ya kwamba huyu mtu ambaye ananisugua na watu wengine hebu niwaambie unaona kwa mfano ni nena na wazazi kidogo hata kama tuna semina yetu baadaye unaona watoto watoto mtoto yeyote ambaye destiny yake ni kubwa ako na vitu vingi anaweza fanya ndiye mtu hupiganwa naye in the families they are deliverers deliverers are fought from left to right Am I talking to somebody? What 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 battle do you do you find in if you read the book of Genesis from chapter number 30 about the story of Jacob amezaa watoto vijana 12 ni vijana wangapi wameandikwa vita vyao vilikuwa namna gani lakini kuna mtu mmoja anakaa alionewa in every aspect of life Bwana asifiwe sana Being sold as a slave at only 17 And you know in those days 17 year old There's a young boy ni kama mtu wa miaka 12 leo hata probably less ni kama mtu wa miaka 10 11 hapo maana huyo ndiye mtu sasa miaka yao ilikuwa mingi walikuwa naishi zaidi ya miaka mia moja. kwa hivyo mtu akiwa na miaka 17 ni kai huyo ndiye teenager ile ya chini ile ya miaka 10 11 ameuzwa ameenda kule amefika wamemuwekelea amejaribu kurep mama akienda jela ametafuzilia watu ndoto wamemsahau Sira hivi nakaa kama kwamba I am a misery. I am suffering. This is my life. But I want you to note if you look at Joseph, he was fighting the battles because he was a great man in the course of time. Ni mtu mkubwa. Watoto unaweza subuana na wao. Unamwambia fanya hivi, anafanya opposite. Amen. Unakaa ukisema hapo hati kwako, hutaki kuona manywele, inaletwa tu unaiona. Unakuta mtu ameisuka na amekuja kukusalimia ah mam ni aje <laughs> unasikia kumeza mtu akae kwa tumbo lakini hii ni rife huyo huyo mwenye manywele hiyo anaweza kuwa die Mungu atatumia kuinua familia ndi anaweza kuwa mtu ambaye atatumika kubadilisha mambo if you don't live like a dreamer you may kill the dream of your life praise the name of the lord living like a dreamer Abu jaribu kuimagine kama Joseph angeweka machungu katika moyo aache kuwa adrima awaone ndugu zake na alikuwa na mamuraka angesema wauawe hawangerara aseme yeyote ambaye kwanza fulani ndiye alikuwa ananishika na nguvu fulani hata alinijeruhi hapa akinishika venye alikuwa amenishikilia unasema huyo kwanza akatwe mguu akae huko akae bila mguu lakini Joseph aliagalia hivi akaona aolive a- 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 like a dreamer there's a dream in my life Praise the name of the Lord. I cannot allow myself to be brought as low as these guys and their behaviors. I will not allow myself to see the way they see things. I will still see the way I'm supposed to see. Lift up your hand and say, "Oh God, help me to see as I am supposed to see." Sema kwa Kiswahili Bwana, nisaidie kuona kama ninavyostahili kuona. Na uaminie Mungu akusaidie. Usiletwe katika habari za kuona mambo kama vile watu wengine wanataka uone. Maana kuna watu wanataka kukushusha uone mambo vile wanayaona. Uangalie vitu vile wanaviangalia. And remember, God asked Jeremiah, "What do you see?" And when he sees what is right, God says, "You have seen right." Nataka kukuuliza, kama Mungu angekuuliza swali Unaona nini katika maisha? Unaona nini katika biashara? Would God say you have seen right? Can God confirm that you have seen what he wants you to see? Ama wewe unaona mambo vile watu wanayaona? Unaona kuligana na global economy? Unaona kuligana na slow down? Bwana asifiwe. Ehe, slow down. Sasa nimesoma ripoti kidogo siku tatu zimepita siku nne wanasema economy ya China is affected because one kuna electricity problem in China kwa hivyo global supply vile vitu vilikuwa vinaenda katika dunia vitaenda vikifanya nini vikiharibika ehe wanasema marekani one of the key areas ports zile ambazo sikumbuki kuna port iko California kuna New York na ingine ambao sikumbuki ni gani wanasema ya kwamba katika zile ports 
meli zile ziko baharini zinangoja kupakua kuondoa eh, ku, kufanya nini kusheheni eh ni meli nyingi kitu ambao hakijawahi onekana wanasema kwa hivyo the knock out the, the, the knock effect wanaita knock effect you know hii itazuia hii itasubua hii nayo hii itasubua hii economy ya dunia itakuwa affected sasa meli ziko hazina mtu wa kupakua kwa sababu ya covid Munasikia uigereza, mafuta haifiki. Uko na gari lakini na pesa uko nao. Hakuna mafuta ya kununua. Paka jeshi dilo linapereka mafuta. Hizi vitu zote zikisemwa. Can you see as you are supposed to see? Ama umeanda woga woi. Sasa hidi yo inaitua meltdown. Na nina wambia hivi. Nili wambia musifikiri COVID. Itawacha dunia vile ilikuwa. Remember the words I spoke to you. Dunia haita wai rudi vile ilikuwa. Keep that one in your mind. And that is why you need to be a visual person. Somebody who can look beyond the COVID pandemic. You angalie juu ya vile hali ya economy inakwenda. Yes, inaweza kuwa na knock on effect. We may be affected even in Kenya. But the truth of the matter is there is a God in heaven. Na bado ako na mpango. Bwana asifiwe sana. So hapana atisema juu imesemekana China vitu havita kuja wacha nishikirie kile niko naye kama kuna kitu unapaswa kuachilia fanya nini achilia China is not our god our god is in heaven he can command and turn things around in a minute praise the name of the lord eh sasa haujui jia za Mungu ni nyingi kwanza kutushushia bei ya mafuta ni lazima agonge some economies slow down Mafuta iwe mingi. Haleluya. Turudi bei chini. Kwani wewe unafikiria aje? Ni lazima Mungu wa, Mungu ni strategist anaipanga naona okay hivi ndivyo mnakwenda. Lazima nigonge mahali hapa bei ishuke. Watu waishi maisha mazuri kidogo. Hawezi kutufinya pande zote. Bwana atukuzwe. Tuachane na hiyo. Nilikuwa najaribu kusema hivi wakati mambo yanafanyika around you. Do you allow yourself to be a visionary or do you allow yourself just to look at things the way other people are, are, are looking at them? Praise the name of the Lord. Jeremiah, what do you see? Unaona nini? Hallelujah. For those who came late, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse number 11. What do you see Jeremiah? I replied, I see an almond branch. The Lord told me you have observed well because I am watching over my message to make sure it comes about. Bwana asifiwe sana. Eh nataka unote mambo kadhaa katika maneno ambayo tunasoma. Particularly in verse verse number verse number 11. I want to say this number one concerning visual, the, the being visual. Eh? Nimesema the sight tatu ambao nimeelezea. Wa number one, kuna the physical sight. Eh, na nikaita the perception or the perceptive sight. Kuona na kuelewa. Hiyo ni muhimu kwako. Number two, nimesema the, eh, the, the 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 vision or the sight of a dreamer. Kuona kama mtu aliye na ndoto. So you don't look at things from the face value, from the viewpoint of today, but you look at them from the viewpoint of my tomorrow. There are things I can see. I am in trouble today, but doesn't mean I'll be in trouble forever. There is a future for me. And uh that re, nimesema spiritual sight. Kuona mambo kama vile Mungu anayaona, kusikia mambo kama vile Mungu anasikia. So in verse number 11, I want you to note down a few things. One, it is the ability to see what uh, or rather exactly what is there. Uone mambo kama yalivyo ama jinsi yalivyo Bwana asifiwe sana na jinsi yalivyo go back to what i have said already being able to see them and perceive them as they are Bwana asifiwe sana nimeelewa nimefahamu nimepambanukiwa Bwana asifiwe sana in other words actually nimetumia neno discernment katika jambo la mwisho but it is good for us to have the ability to discern from the word go Even the things you see in the natural discern. Praise the name of the Lord. Discern. Pata kupambanukiwa. Uelewe ya kwamba hiki ni kitu na kinafanyika kwa sababu ya ABCD eh, na kwa hivyo mambo yatakuwa hivi na hivi. And eh, another thing ambao ningetaka uelewe ni kwamba 
on, on, on the matter of seeing things as they are. Si umeerewa ni hiyo kuona na kuyaerewa. Kuona na unayaona kama a dreamer. And you also see them the way God sees them. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to say this. If you look at verse number 12. When you see things as you are supposed to see them. God confirms to you. God affirms what you see. In other words, the hand of God will rest on what you can see correctly. Mkono wa Mungu utakuwepo juu ya kile unaona katika hali yake. Kama kilivyo, ukikiona vile kinasaidi kuonekana, the hand of God will be there. In other words, God will support what you can see correctly. Do you hear me? God will support what you can see correctly. Ukiona kile unasahidi kuona, nimesema mkono wa Bwana utakuwa pale. Atakiti atakutia nguvu katika lile jambo kama umeliona unavyostahili kuliona. Bwana atukuzwe. Sasa ujue ya kwamba kile unaona na ukioni vile Mungu anakiona, nitakwambia mkono wa Bwana hauko pale. Amen. The way you view for example Watoto wako, unawaona kama nini? Do you look at them as labels? As the people who cannot be turned. Ha, wezi badilichwa. Ha, wezi jui nini? Ivyo unawaona. Ukiwaona kasoro mkono wabwana, hauta kuwa juu yao. Ukiwaona vile unastahili kuwaona. Mkono wabwana, utakuwa juu yao. Hey, are you getting what I'm saying? This is life. Can I repeat myself again? If you see your children as he are supposed to be seen, the hand of God will be upon them. It will support them. If you don't see them that way, and you are tempted even to talk about them negatively, the hand of the Lord inaondoka. Mukono wa buwana ukiodoka. Yule mutoto yuko peke yake, na taishi maisha ambao, mungu hayupo. I'll give you a story. I don't know whether sionangi hiyo Yo kuhizi sana. Kuna mzee anaitua Jesse Duplantis. He's an American preacher. You know him? Jesse, mzee mwenye nyuele nye upe. Eh? Mumarekani. Anasema, mama yake alikuwa mama amba ameokoka. Na mama yake, kijana huyu, wakati Jesse ni kijana, aliishi maisha, lifeist. You know, lifeist. Ile maisha, nafikiri razima mama yake ama familia yao ilikuwa natupesa. Sababu jamani ya huyo, sijua meenda wapi, tourist. Na nisi tourist ule wa, wa, wa kuenda kuona maji, ni tourist wa kujienjoy. Kukura, kukunywa, wanawake, ulevi, hiyo ndiyo maisha yake. Anakuenda, anakuenda from one country to another. From one place to the other. You know America is big. Me, I've never been there. Lakini wapendwa, ni inchi ambao kuipita hivi, ni kama sini subcontinent. Yeah? It is, inaitua continental America. If you look at it, ni inchi kubwa kutoka one side. Ni kama vile tu kuvuka kutoka hapa kwa Nigeria. In some places. So you need about six hours or five hours flight. Uende tu hivyo na uko inchi moja. So fikiria. Jama hame ingia ndege. Hame enda sijui California. Hame toka California. Hako wapi New York. Hame toka New York. Hame enda New Mexico. Yani jama ni kusafiri. Lakini mama alikuwa na kitu wanaona katika jesi. Anasema mama yake alikuwa na muombea. Arafu wanampigia simu. Sasa anapea, alikuwa na peana one incident. He has gone to, to Mexico. Mexico City. So a new country. Inchi ambao mama hajui. Na haku sema, haku anawacha anasema. Mana anajua mama anamuombea. Na akimuambia sasa ataomba mipango itaharibika. So one day ameenda. Yuko kwa club. Wanaji enjoy, wanakunyua, wanafanya mambo. Eh? Arafu ate mtu wa ba ateda yule anauza yule mwenye yako kwa counter anauliza nani anaitwa Jesse hapa huko ni Mexico ni kama uko na huko Uganda hata wacha Uganda huko ni Bali so anasema nani anaitwa Jesse jamaa anasema Jesse ya yeah, ni mimi anaambiwa you have a call anakuja kushukua simu ni nani amepiga mama yake Jesse are you alright Anamuliza mama. Nani ya mekupea namba? Huku ni kwa ba, umejuaje namba. Akamuambia, don't worry about ni metuwa namba wapi. Are you alright? 
I am praying for you my son na ninataka urudi nyumbani uachana na hiyo yani jamaa nakasirika mpaka anakata simu kukasirika mama alikuwa anamuona Jesse kama muhubiri lift up your hand again and say oh god help me to see as i am supposed to see hallelujah wapendwa can you imagine amejua ba mama ana Ba. Na anapika simu hasemi hiyo ni shetani, shaitani imeenda kwa ba. Si itapika, akunywe, akitaka kukufa akufe. Ah ah, lugha yake ni Jesse my son. Jesus loves you. Jesse anasema alikuwa anakuja na wasichana nyumbani, mama anamuita kando anamwambia hata kama unatafuta mke, hauatire mtumia. Hapo hakuna mwanamke. Hapo hakuna mtu huyo atakusugua. Sasa nambie mama mama kwani unataka ni anamwambia Jess my son huyu amuwezi ka hata amutaenda bali kweli wanawachana Anaka siku moja akaleta mwingine nyumbani Aja okoka ni walevi na vituko vyao mama anamuita kado anamwambia sasa umepata madam huyo ukioa maisha ni mazuri kwako na dia wako naye hata sasa Hawakuoana kwa kanisa walioana ile katika dunia lakini huyu huyu mzee kitu ile ilikuweko ni huyu mama yake alikuwa na imani i have faith in my son i can see what other people may not see in my son somebody may talk about my drunkard son somebody may talk about my immoral son but i see a servant of god in my son what can you see my brother what can you see my sister bwana yesu atukuzwe and i want to say this what you can see you can possess but what you can you cannot see you will never possess kile hauoni hautakifikia lakini kile unaona utakifikia bwana asifiwe sana life ni ngumu kwako can you see beyond the ugumu wa leo uone mbele uone life will turn one day life will turn see yourself and i want to say this ebu niulize hili swali tu physically Wangapi ushawahi yota ndoto ukiwa na maisha mazuri maisha makubwa unajiota yani unaota kitu different na vile huko eh? Kwani amuotangi usiku Na huwa mnalala by the way unajua ni vizuri kwanza tuulize hiyo swali juu wengine hata unatarajia aote ataota saa gapi na harari Mnalala eh? Haya wale mnalala ukaota ndoto siku moja ukaota ndoto ambao haujafika hapo ile uliona haujafika hapo hata sasa hujafika wagapi usaona ndoto kama hiyo hiyo vitu mnataka kusema ni shetani aliwafunulia ni Mungu alikuwa ana inspire maisha yenu ni Mungu alikuwa anawatia motisha ya kuendelea and therefore this is what i'm talking about be a visioner and live a person ambaye anasema because i have a dream i will live if the dream dies you die if your dream is alive you will live ndoto yako siku ile itakufa utakufa utangolewa hautafika lakini ndoto yako ikiwa hai na unaishi ukiiweka jina la Bwana libarikiwe Habakuk aliabiwa namna gani write the vision na uiandike na herufi kubwa kwa sababu itakuja kuwa iandike kwamba hata mwenye anakimbia akiwa anakimbia akiona anaisoma hata kama umekimbizwa live like a visioner write your dream see it every day talk about it every hour because the god of the dreams is still alive am i talking to somebody be the joseph of your generation mipaka yako siku moja haitakuwa mahali imefika kwa sasa beacon zile waliweka siku moja zitangolewa walioweka beacon ya kwamba hautaishi hapa wewe kwenda ukaishi na wageni siku yako itafika urudi katika nchi yako na hautarudi in the same status you will come back in a greater glory somebody say amen this is the doing of the lord have a vision in life praise god lakini shetani anataka kuua hii uwezo wa kuona Hauoni vile maisha itakuwa. Hauoni mambo yale Mungu amekuweka. You can only see the things ambazo shetani anataka. Anakuweka mahali chini. Anakuweka katika maisha ya kusumbuka. May your eyes open in Jesus name. I declare Ephesians 1:18 over your life that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened. You will be able to see what God sees concerning your life. You will be able to hear what God speaks about your life. For what God has 
are said for what God has prepared for you is greater than what the enemy is talking about in your life in Jesus name let not the voice of the enemy overcrowd your ears sauti ya ndui umeipea nafasi bwana asifiwe wagapi usi hawai igiwa na kamududu kwa masikio alafu kana tebea huko kana kuanga mzuri unafurahia do you even hear anything else do you even understand what people are saying kazi yako tu ni ngai mti tu sisi mti tu hata wakisema Mungu anasema ninawainua uwezi sikia kwa sababu ya ile kerere kuna watu nao wameruhusu makerere fulani iingie katika masikio hata Mungu akijaribu kusema habari ya maisha yako hauwezi kuona i refuse to be bound by the noises around my life i want to see what god wants me to see praise the name of the lord msiruhusu shetani ambaye anajua tabia za ajabu analeta vitu zingine hapa mbele uanze kuziona uanze ku concentrate nazo ili upoteze mwelekeo bwana siwe sana may you have the capacity to see what god wants you to see Usiangalie tu mateso, usiangalie mambo vile yanakwenda kwa sasa. Angalia bere kwa sababu Mungu ana maisha mazuri. Now, let's turn to the book of Genesis. Mhm. Kitabu cha Genesis 13. And I want us to read from verse number 14. The Lord said to Abram after Lot had separated from him, lift up your eyes and look from the place where you stand. Aha. Uh-huh northward and southward eastward and westward for all the land that you see i will give to you and your offspring forever i will make your offspring as the dust of the earth so that if you can count to uh, uh, if one can count the dust of the earth your offspring also can be counted arise walk through the, the length of the uh, and the breadth of the land Le, uh, for i will give it to you Praise the name of the Lord. Ati wakati walitengana na Lot, unajua there are things ambazo zikifanyika they break your heart. For example, uh, Abraham separating with Lot. Lot was his uh, his cousin or his nephew? His nephew. So just imagine. Kijana ya dugu yako ame mumekosana mumekasirishana mumetupiana hata maneno pengine. Maana ukiona Abraham alifika mahali akawaambia si vizuri vikuoro. Si vizuri. Bwana asifiwe sana. Uh, hiyo ni katika verse 9 alimwambia it is not good that we quarrel or there be trouble between your, your shepherds and my shepherds it is time to find a separation usifikiri ni kitu ati ilikuwa mzuri sana ilikuwa rahisi a uh-uh, a ilikuwa difficult lakini wakati wanaendelea anamwambia tujitutengane wao kila mtu aende sidhani abraham alikuwa na furaha sana na mkiangalia huko bere mateso ile ilitokea kwa roti unaweza elewa kwa nini abraham angekuwa na, na uchungu Roti amechukuliwa, ameenda kuishi Sodom. Munaona vile Sodom ilikuwa ni mahali pa uzinzi na ushetani mwingi. Si ati kwamba ilikuwa inafurahisha Abraham, lakini wakati walitengana, in that breakdown, in that situation that is not very good. God does not say Abraham, ni vizuri ukae hapo uangalie, jaribu kuongeresha roti ya rudi. Ah ah, Mungu alimwambia inua macho uangalie. Kuna wakati ukifika katika maisha ni lazima utoe macho kwa vile vitu unaona vile vitu vinasubua vile vitu vinakutesa uinue macho uone mambo mapya praise the name of the lord uone vitu ambazo wengine hawaoni usikie sauti ambao wengine hawasiki Mungu akamwambia angalia maana kule unafikisha macho nitakupatia my god This is my prayer today. May your eyes receive the strength to see what binoculars may not be able to see in Jesus name. May your eyes receive the ability to see what microscopes may never see so that you may see what God has prepared for you. Uyaone mambo ambayo umepangiwa mpendwa. Wapendwa Mungu hakutuleta katika wokovu ili atudhararishe atuaibishe Mungu alituleta katika wokovu it's a place of honor and favor in the presence of God Come on somebody shout I am not born again to be ashamed I don't hear you somebody say I'm not born again to be ashamed Come on somebody say shame is not my portion Hallelujah I will receive honor in the presence of the Lord. My life will be honored. 
I may not be seeing the honor today, but I will live like a dreamer. My life will turn. My situation will change. Because I believe in God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati hata unaona umepiga kona ukiteremuka, amini kitu kimoja, kuna uwezekano. Si nikona umepiga ukaanza kuteremuka, kuna uwezekano upate mahali hapo mbele upige kona uanze kufanya nini? Kupanda. It is possible. It is not impossible with the God. With the man it is impossible, but with the God all things are possible. Praise the name of the Lord. My turn around is coming. I may not tell exactly when things are going to turn around. But I can give you this assurance. My life is about to turn. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, My time to turn around is coming. Hey, you better say it as a believer. Tell somebody, my time to turn around is coming. Hey, look the other way and tell somebody, you might not see it. I don't have a way to explain. But my time is coming. And my life will turn. In Jesus name. May your prophecy come to pass in the name of the Lord. For the Bible says, as you can see, I will follow my word to perform it. Kili ambacho nimekuonyesha, ukiweza kushikiria, mimi mungu ninakifuata kukitimiza. I want to tell you this, if you can be a person who has perception, you don't need to fight forever. There is a time that will come, and God must confirm the word. Hallelujah. Usha wai ya dikiwa baru arafu kuna mutu wanapaswa kusaini. Na hasaini. Unaenda unahambiwa gojea tu. Gojea tu. Goja tu. Pengine ni kacheku meandikiwa. Unahambiwa kuna mutu moja hajapatikana. Na anasaini kusaini hili upewe cheku. Pengine ni pesa nyingi. Unazi goja mpaka unafika mahali unafika kerede unawambia. Kwa ni muli ni adika kazi ya kuja hapa kuangalia. Unapiga simu unapiga kerede. Lakini wande mwenye alikuwa hasaini. Anatokea, ana apologize, ana kubia. I'm very sorry. I went to India, and when I was in India, ni kaitu wa China. Ni ripoenda China, wakani ambia zijui kuna fraita ba ina paswa kwenda US, na ni kona wiki biri ya kupu muzika huko dio mana zijakuwa, rakini usijari. Cheki yako ni na sign. Kacheki kaki signiwa dio mutu ana tokanga ukipiga bija hapo inje, na ukiongeza ata secretary na msalimia ukismaero sasa kwa sababu mambo ya metimia. Usijari ya kuamba kuna vitu havija. Sainiwa. But a time is coming for the signatures to be appended so that you can occupy that which pertains to you in Jesus' name. Are you in the house? So live a life of a dreamer. Somebody who can say, I am not sure, but one thing I'm sure about, God pursues his word. To do what? To perform it. If you have never dealt with an insurer, particularly when you have issues, you need a uh, Huh? something to be taken care of by the insurance. You don't understand what I'm talking about. And the insurance in Ezata kukwambia, wewe enda utegeneze gari, tuandikiwe nini? Invoice. Tutalipa kila kitu. Wanaeza kukwambora tu pereke gara jabao, tumesema, sisi tutafanya one, two, three, kama ukona haraka kutuliko, fanya. Na unaeza kaa hivyo ukigoja. Insurance inakwambia tu, tutalipa tu, eh, inaenda through process, imefika mahali frani. But one day, they do it. They finally fulfill their word. Because katika clauses zao, inasema hivyo. Na hawataki kuperekwa kotini kushitakiwa. Maana hawataki hiyo ni kuharibu biyashara. Ni razima watakulipa. Kwa sababu ni sheria, ni kitu imiandikuwa. Na minawambia wapendwa. How can you so much believe in a Kenyan insurer? How can you so much believe in your family members and fail to believe in God? Today, I want you to believe in God. And have your eyes on the things that God has been speaking in your life. Kuna mambo mungu wa mekua kikwambia. Anasema ya kwamba atafanya. Anakwambia kwamba mimi ni mungu. Nitatenda hivi na hivi. Uweke moyo wako pale. Na kwa sababu ya munda mimi nataka tusimame. Na nataka tu uombe jabu moja katika dakika tano hivi. Uombe macho yako kuona. Ambia mungu nipe macho ambao inapasivu. Wanaswe sana. I am not just seeing, I can perceive. Nipe macho ambao, ninaweza ona like a dreamer. I can see things like a dreamer. I am not just looking at things like a natural man, an ordinary man. I will look at issues like a dreamer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Number three, tell God, 
Give me eyes which can see in the spiritual realm. Nione kiroho. Nione katika ulimwengu wa rohoni. Niombe mambo, nione mambo kama vile kiroho yalivyo. Vile wewe unayaona. I wish you can understand this. Nisione mambo kama vile sauti za watu zinasema. Nisione mambo kulingana na hali ya the global economy. Nisione mambo kulingana na taratibu za watu na vile wanaongea. I want to see things the way you see them Lord. I want to understand the matters the way you understand them oh God. I want to talk about issues the way you talk about them in the name of the Lord. Jeremiah aliulizwa what do you see? Akasema naona a branch an almond branch. Mungu akamwambia you have seen well. I want you to pray. Uambie Mungu nifanye nione kwamba ukija wewe Mungu utakuwa unasema nimeona kilicho sawa. Watoto wetu jioni hapa as we pray for you na wengine inua macho yako inua sauti yako anza kujiombea katika jina la Yesu. Pray that you are eyes will see. Pray that your ears will hear. Pray that your understanding will be greater than the understanding of yesterday. Pray that you will be looking at issues from different perspectives. Sitaona mambo kama vile watu wanayaona. Sitayaona mambo kama vile wa mama wenzangu wanayaona. I will not be considerate of matters as others are considerate. But I will see things the way you want me to see them, oh God. I will see matters and express myself in accordance to your word. Come on, somebody pray for your eyes. Pray for your eyes. Pray for your understanding. According to Ephesians 1 verse 18. Oh, may God give you an eye that can see. May God give you eyes which are able to see. Elisha kambiwa na Elijah. Ukiona nikienda, kire umeomba utapata. Wapendo waomba mungu ya kwamba macho yako ya taona. Masikio yako ya tasikia. Hauta fungiwa, hauta zuiliwa. Rakasena kosila bozande. Macho yangu yaone. Macho yangu yaone. Masikio yangu ya sikie. Mambo kama vile umeyaweka. Macho yangu ya yaweze kuona. Na akili yangu iweze kufahamu. Kama vile na wewe umeyaweka mambo. Rokasena gando bakataba. Rena salama kato robo zalima. Omba mungu ya kwamba utaona. Katika kuhusu maisha yako ya kifedha. Mwambia mungu niweze kuona. Kama vile wewe unaniona kihutuma. Unabio niona kimaisha. Unabio niona kikazi. Unabio niona na mambo yale umeniwekea. Show me oh God. Open my eyes in the name of Jesus. Open the eyes of my heart Lord. Open my eyes God. Open my eyes Lord. I desire to see. I desire to understand. I desire to perceive so that I can conceive. Makarababa koto robo solobo zande. Repana kasana mazande. Naomba hata kwa sababu ya watoto wetu. Macho yao ya tafunguka. Macho yao ya taona. Mambo ya maisha haya. Na mambo ya maisha ya jayo. Mambo ya nayo husu wakovu wao. Mambo ya nayo husu matumaini yao. Mambo ya nayo husu future yao. Open the eyes, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for their mind to perceive in the name of Jesus. I pray for their spirit to understand in the name of Jesus. I pray that their desire will be greater in the name of the Lord. Let their vision be enlightened, my Father, concerning their education, concerning their lives, O oh God, concerning their future, my Father. I pray for perception in the name of the Lord. I pray for the ability to see, the ability to hear. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Sheka Bagande Rema Sola Bazaya. I pray, my God, Hakuna Mtuambaya Tapotea, Katika Maono, Katika Noto Zao, Katika Maisha Yao, Hakuna Takae Potea, Lakini Water Buana Wataona, Watumishuako Wataya Elewa, Mambo Yanayo Stahili Pueleweka, Karika Jina La Yesu. Thank you, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
inua mikono yako katika uwepo wa Bwana sema e Bwana yafungue macho yangu na ufahamu wangu ili niweze kuona na kuelewa mambo kulingana na ufahamu wako niweze kuyapambanua mambo kulingana na roho wako kuanzia siku ya leo natangaza ya kwamba macho yangu yanaona masikio yangu yanasikia moyo wangu unaelewa nami nitapata wokovu nitapata wokovu nitapata tumaini katika hali zote na katika mambo yote e bwana unisaidie kupambanukiwa na kila jambo linaloruhusu maisha yangu linaloruhusu vizazi vyangu vinaohusu kazi yangu na kazi ya wale wamenizunguka e bwana unisaidie nisije nikafungiwa na hali za watu na hali za mambo yanayonizunguka kwa jina la Yesu naomba na kuamini amen and i pray let it be so in your life in jesus name let the grace and the capacity to see be increased in your life may your eyes be able to see and may your ears be able to hear and as you understand may you possess the gates of your enemies we thank you and we honor you in jesus mighty name we pray celebrate the workings of god in the house today in the name of the lord jesus christ we bless you do you remember the story of gideon we have been covering over the week at gideon alienda akasikia watu wanaambiana kuna mkate umebingilika umebomoa hema mwingine akamwambia na ni maadui wakamwambia he hiyo umeona sasa huyu anaitwa nani gideon adui ndio walimwambia gideon kile ana alicho kile alicho na wapendwa it's a very unfortunate that time at times devils know who you are more than you understand yourself people understand you hata maadui wako wanakuangalia they know you are a threat you are a great person but at times you may not perceive yourself lift up your hand and say from today I'll perceive myself better than my enemies. Somebody say from today I will understand myself and my responsibility better than my enemies. And so shall it be in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Mwangalie jirani yako you are mwambie you are better than you think. Come on tell your neighbor you are better than you assume. I, I, I hope ukimwangalia unaona kama anaamini. Mwambie you are better than you understand. You are better than you. Mwambie you are better than you believe. You are better than your faith. Shida ni wakati adui anakuja ana crowd. Unaona tu adui, unaona tu mabaya, hauoni yale mazuri Mungu amekuwekea. You shall live to declare the goodness of God in the seasons of the living God. God bless you so much. Uh, let's have a seat. Na wale ambao tuko upande huu, can we try to move to this side? God bless you so much sir. We create room for others who are coming on that side and ushers wa tusaidie katika hiyo hali. Bwana awabariki walio kwenye mtandao tuonane katika the next service in the presence of the Lord. Shalom shalom. God bless you.